show you the 250 highlights from our race in Birmingham. This 250 East region has been crazy so far this year. Max Anstey, a slim points lead. A couple of riders only one point down. And then it got crazy right off the rip oh, tonight. Oh, I mean, wow. If you watch the 43 of Hamaker, he hit like a ton of bricks. And that's the first time, like, really watching it in real time. He got slammed down. He's lucky he walked away from that. Deegan. Oh, look at Deegan's showing his displeasure. And when you go back and you look at the slow-mo, then he goes over there. And he's all up in the pits at the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Kawasaki. That was Seth Hamaker's mom there, yeah. I believe it was. Telling, telling him to, to get out of there. Chewing him away. So Hamaker and Deegan both have to reset, race the last chance qualifier. Hamaker wins it. Deegan finishes up in second. They will have bad gate selections for this, the main event. There they are toward the outside. So a steep hill to climb. Yeah. Things have been rough on both of them at times this season. Great start for Chance Hymas. Leads them into the first turn, but nice job on the inside by Jeremy Martin. Take the lead of the number six, and there's Tom Vial to go to the lead. Uh, credible ride by Tom Vial, credible weekend, what do you say? I mean, coming off the dub at uh, Daytona, then backing it up here, the only thing he has left to do, go to Indianapolis, win with a set of whoops. Now, oh. this is where it starts right yep. here. See, Deacon goes, goes off track. course, along with other riders. And uh, AMA is going to take a look at that, I'm sure. Tough one for Jalik Swall. Watch the left-hand corner. He was battling for a first-ever podium for Triumph. That yeah. new brand oh. goes down. It would have been great to see him get on there, get on the box there. But uh, we talked about in the broadcast, he leaned over, leaned the corner over too much. And then Max Bike expires. And I hate this for that Firepower Honda team. Uh, they've had a good run going so far. Huge shakeup. That was the series leader coming in. And his bike was done. He knew it. And with that, he told Jason Thomas during the race he thinks his championship hopes are done as well. Heartbreaking for the little team that could and led it early. And this man is catching fire at the right time. Back-to-back -back wins, one in a speedway, one in a stadium, and the points lead as well for the Frenchman, Tom Biel. And it's not over for Deegan here. He catches Cody Shock. This is the last turn of the race. He tees him up. You got to give it to Shock for leaning it, leaning in there to be on guard, to guard the position. And Deegan just had way too much drive and weight going forward. Look, he's trying to plead his case to the AMA. AMA is going to look at it, and I don't think it's going to work out well for uh, Aiden Deegan. This will be a night he'll want to forget. A night to remember, though, for Tom Biel. Then he was curious to see if he could turn that Daytona win into a traditional stadium win. It took seven days to do it. That's it. And good ride by Hamaker. Rallies for a podium right behind his teammate, McAdoo. And there are the results. Pierce yeah. Brown, 5-5-4 five, five, start the season. I know. It's it, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yep. And uh, you know what? Consistency is going to be key. But we got two-time winner Tom Bial right here. Yeah. He hit. You better take notice, because if he figures out, if he wins again and rides well with regular whoops, um, I think he's the favorite for the championship. He's myself definitely, personally. yeah, he's taking a claim right now. You saw Deegan is seventh. We're not sure if there will be a penalty coming, though. The, the reason that I say that about yeah. Tom Biel is because he's a two-time MXGP, MX2 champion. So my point is, is that he knows how to win races, and he looks very comfortable the last two weeks. Yeah, unlike a lot of riders in this class, he has championship experience, not in this particular division. But he knows how to manage it if he can start to extend that points lead. Right now, it's just one yeah. over McAdoo, who has second, second, second in the last three races. So he's been good. Deegan now 10 points back as of now, unless he's penalized, could be further back. Cody Shock still with a great season, 50 points, 13 back. I don't even think you can count out Hamaker right now. No, 15. Hamaker, yep, with this is inconsistent as some of the finishers have been, for sure. Um, yeah, you got to keep your eye on him. And Anstey, just heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah, now painful. 21 points.